it going, guys? Magic Bambi here, coming at you live through the power of the internet. Um, I'm actually doing a uh, first impressions or final thoughts kind of video on the Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. I actually bought it on Origin today uh, because I found out that it came out and I kind of didn't know. And I was like, oh shit, gotta buy it. Because uh, I had fun and I actually tried it at PAX East and it was quite a fun game. They, came, they gave me a quite little... Uh, cute little wristband and I'm like, oh definitely gotta buy it now. But yeah, I actually had a little fun I actually tried the PC version while I was there. They also had console versions there just well Definitely because it came out in the on the consoles back in February February 27th, I believe in the US they came out in the Xbox Xbox one PS3 PS4 stuff like that and um, Yeah, so basically I'm gonna start off by basically giving you an overview of the game and how it works uh, Basically I'm gonna start off here by showing you the uh, different classes of both the plants and the zombies uh, First off you have the pea shooter is basically the standard class. It's got the range weapons it's got different um, Abilities as you do level up through it like a bomb and stuff like that chomper is a little bit heavier It can go underground um, come up under zombies and bite them and eat them and you know get an insta kill it's also got a range goo that slows them down and like i say abilities as you level up get even better sunflower is a medic kind of class it's got a heal that you can heal your teammates with and it's also got their ranged uh shooting and it definitely has different abilities as you level up and have different characters cactus is more of a sniper class like in tf2 got the ranged sniper i guess weapon it's got abilities as you level up and over on the zombies team as a standard class it's called a foot soldier um, like I was saying earlier, you could actually unlock different uh, characters that apply to these classes that have different weapons and stuff like that. Standard weapon, rocket launcher, jump ability, engineer. Um, it's obviously the engineer like in TF2, you got different um, abilities. It's like a sonic grenade you can throw down on the uh, chompers because they can go underground and it brings them up. Scientist is their medic. Is pretty cool looking he's got a shotgun so you want to be up close with when using him all-star is there basically heavy uh, so he's got this freaking machine gun that fires footballs as the default class and as I said I uh, can upgrade them um, with different accessories hats facial hair weapon skins stuff like that for both teams and um, as you do level up you can actually buy booster packs which I would be talking about here in a little bit um, Anyway, as we're back to the gameplay, I'd like to uh, say that um, the game so far, I'm having quite a bit of fun with it. Um, I wasn't expecting to actually buy it, but I figured I might as well. It's um, I've been playing for roughly four hours now, or three hours, something like that. I don't know. I leveled up to around, what was it level 11? It might not be the same as the gameplay as it was a little bit older, but I did put this gameplay in because it was... A friggin' beast mode gameplay. I, was, I did not know how I did that good. I might have been put up against some pretty bad people. It was like one of my first games. And uh, I figured I might as well include it. Because it does include the, uh, the beast mode, Bambi activation, shit like that. Um, so if you guys are looking for a new game to play, which what I was doing. Um, this is a game for you. More of a third person TF2 kind of feels. Got the, the you know, the cartoony i guess kind of graphics that tf2 also has um although tf2 was not made by ea electronic arts um which i do have uh good hopes for because they do or pop cap the creators of the game uh ea just published it they do uh promise a free dlc to come in the future for the game so that way you don't have to pay for it like you know every er ea game uh, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, shit like that. You gotta pay for every DLC that comes out. Um, yeah, so there's different game modes. Uh, the starting ones, or at least the ones that I saw, were Garden Ops, Team Vanquish, which is basically a Team Deathmatch, Gardens and Graveyards, Gnome Bomb, which is basically a Search and Destroy, and a Mixed Mode, which is basically a mixture of Team Vanquish and uh, Garden Ops, I believe. Um, so basically, I've been, ha I've been having a little fun with the game. It's, uh, it's different than what you're usually used to. To be honest, some could actually, you know, compare it to Battlefield 3 just or Battlefield 4 just because of the fact that it's running on the Frostbite engine, which is, uh, you know, a little bit different than what you may be expecting just because of the uh, graphics and stuff like that that you're seeing in the gameplay and in the uh, actual game itself. Um, I actually bought in on Origin uh, for the $35 fee that you actually get the uh, Deluxe Edition, I guess it's called. And it has um, a different amount of booster packs, I guess. Yeah, they're called booster packs. They're little uh, additions. Basically, in TF2, you can purchase 
I'm if I'm correct, you can purchase add-on items like accessories, stuff like that. Um, and if I'm not correct, I apologize. It's been a while since I've played TF2, uh, but the booster packs are actually stuff that you can unlock for different characters, different abilities, weapons, weapon skins, uh, character accessories, stuff like that. Um, so definitely, uh, if I, if you want a, an advantage when you're starting the game, definitely get the deluxe edition. It's only five dollars more than the regular, and uh, you get all the extra. Um, uh, coins and uh, additions that it has. Um, for example, uh, you, I think it gives you 150,000 in-game coins, which went pretty quick when I bought the booster packs, but I can tell from the amount of uh, stuff that I had over the other people in the game when just starting out, I can tell that I had a huge advantage, especially with my awesome FPS skills. Um, if you guys are looking for a new game to play and don't know what it is, um, hopefully you'll learn something from this video and hopefully you guys will think about getting this game just because of the fact that it's so different yet so good. Um, I can't wait to see what additions will be in the future. I've only played Dean Vanquish so far, so I'm definitely going to be looking forward to other stuff here in the future. Um, at the end of the game, if I am correct, which is right now, uh, we actually won because of how much of a beast I am. I actually open up the, um, the booster packs with the points that I got if I'm correct I'm just gonna wait here in a second because uh, it is a post -com, so you gotta you gotta bear with me here sticker shop is at the end of the game you can actually buy these different packs um, I was actually purchasing rarer ones earlier so yeah purchase skip that sticker pack and it opens up and gives you different additions that you can use on your characters so if you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe and hopefully you'll buy the game if you like it thanks for watching guys Magic Bambi signing out